Let's call it in the crossfire. Hey guys, what is up? Mackie's Mad Sports, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be going over my round five tips and the gauntlet, which starts this week, by the way. Anyways, guys, let's get straight into it. So starting off with the gauntlet, I'm going to start off with probably one a lot of people may have chose. I'm going to go with the Brisbane and Collingwood game. I'm going to tip Brisbane. It's at the Gabba, and Brisbane, they are very strong side, and that's why I trust them to beat Collingwood. And also in the normal tips, I will tip Brisbane as well by a margin of 29 points. Brisbane are a good side, and I expect them to do well, especially against the Gabba. At in against Collingwood, um, they should do pretty good and beat Collingwood. Moving on to the next match, North Melbourne versus Western Bulldogs. Western Bulldogs, I'm going to tip here. It seems like Bulldogs might get another thrashing like last time. I think they beat them by about 128 points, which was their biggest margin, winning margin ever. And the Bulldogs um, didn't play that well last week, but I guarantee they're strong enough to beat north melbourne and but north melbourne did just lose to sydney by a couple of points but i feel like western bulldogs will beat them probably between 10 and 20 points now moving on to the next match west coast versus sydney i'm going to tip a little bit of an upset here i'm going to tip west coast um west coast played pretty good very good well last week against collingwood um in melbourne as well so they've got some more plays back and that will hopefully add something but against sydney in west coast it's going to be a good match. It's going to probably come down to the last couple of minutes. But I'm going to tip West Coast. Moving on to the next match, we have St Kilda versus Gold Coast. This one's usually a good match. Um, but I'm going to tip St Kilda. St Kilda have been in very good form, especially the last couple of weeks. Gold Coast, they beat Carlton, which was definitely a big upset. But St Kilda, good form. They beat, ended up beating Hawthorne by around 70 points or something like that. And yeah, that's... That's what a good side is, and St. Kitt will end up beating Gold Coast. Now, moving on to the next match is Adelaide versus Richmond at the Adelaide Oval. Now, Crows did play a good match last week against Essendon, only losing by four points. And I'm still going to back them up for this match. I'm going to tip the Crows. It's a little bit of a risk, especially since Richmond beat the Bulldogs. But the Crows, I reckon they'll come out and play their best football that we've probably seen in a while um, at Adelaide Oval and come out and only beat them by around under 15 points, definitely. But Crows, will, they'll come out and play their best football in a while and end up beating Richmond. Now, moving on to the next match, Melbourne versus GWS. I'm going to tip Melbourne, MCG, GWS. They're not in that great shape at the moment. Um, they're not doing too well. And at the MCG, Melbourne almost seen unstoppable um, at this point. But, yeah, that's why I'm going to tip Melbourne. To beat GWS. Also, it's a 1% tipping GWS, so I'm going to tip Melbourne anyways. Moving on to the next match, Carlton versus Port Adelaide at the MCG. Now, these two teams both coming off 30-point losses, but I'm going to tip Carlton. They've been in amazing form. Port haven't won a game, and if they lose this game, uh, they I don't reckon they'll make the 8 this year if they lose this game, Port Adelaide. But Carlton, they're in good form, they're in good shape, and that's why I see them winning Home ground advantage. Um, it's all going to be a very good match and very enjoyable to watch. Moving on to the next match, Essendon versus Fremantle. I'm going to tip Fremantle here um, because Essendon, even though coming off a good win against the Crows, coming down to the last couple of minutes. But Fremantle, they are in very, very good form considering the last couple of years. They haven't been that great. But this time, Fremantle are going to come out, play some good footy, and end up beating Essendon by probably more than 20 points, I'm going to say. So it's going to be a quite a big loss for Essendon. Moving on to the next and last match of the round. I'm going to Hawthorne versus Geelong in the Easter Monday match. I'm going to tip Geelong here. Geelong beating Brisbane was a big task for them. They managed to do it, and Hawthorne haven't been in that great of a form the past couple of weeks. But especially with that 70-point loss to St. Kilda and Geelong, they've been in good form, and that's why I'm going to tip them. So anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed and like the video. That would be greatly appreciated. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!